In this video, I'm going to show you how to cite using Zotero. So the first thing you want to do is you want to download Zotero to your computer. Now, in case you don't know how to do this, I have a tutorial on that on my channel. You can just search it up on my channel and then you'll be able to download it and install it to your computer. Now, after this, you want to first open up Zotero. And the first important thing we're going to do is we are going to open up the tools menu, which is going to be up top over here on the left and then you want to click install browser connector. So this website is going to open up inside either your Chrome or any of the other browsers. So as you can see over here, this has installed the Zotero connector for Chrome. And now I can just install it with this button. But in case you're not using Chrome, you can of course click show all connectors over here and you can use it for Firefox, Edge or Safari as well. So for this instance, I'm going to be using Chrome. I'm just going to click on install over here which will take me to the uh, Add to Chrome extension page over here inside the Chrome Web Store. And I want to click on Add to Chrome. Here, you want to click on Add Extension. And then in just a few seconds, there we go. This will now get added up here. And that's pretty much all you have to do. So for convenience and for easier access, I'm just going to pin this so it will always stay on top over here without me having to click the puzzle button and then the Zotero connector. And then this is now the first part. So the second part, before you of course start citing, you will have to uh, essentially get some articles or some journals or whatever you are looking for inside here, inside Zotero. Okay. So to actually do this, what you can do is the following. Now, once you've installed this uh, browser connector over here, the easiest way to do this, and there's more ways, of course, you can add them manually by clicking new item over here. And then you can essentially look for what it is. So for example, journal article, and then you can just add everything in manually. However, I don't think this is the most efficient way of doing it. The most efficient way is by actually searching for articles online and then using uh, your a little connector inside your browser to be able to add them. Now over here, let me just show you how to do this. So I went to PubMed for this instance, I'm going to type in sports. And then over here, you'll see a bunch of different options. Now here, of course, these options by that, I mean, different articles. So you'll simply have to find an article you would like to essentially get a hold of and put inside Zotero to cite later. So for example, it's going to be this second one over here in the list. And what you're going to do over here, once you're inside an article, it can be any website, by the way, you want to click on the Zotero extension up here. And then it says you've installed it, you can click got it over here, and then click on it again. And then you'll be able to save this. Okay, so you can save it to whatever I'm going to save it to my library over here. And then once you do this, of course, it's going to automatically save. If I open up Zotero, as you can see, this article has now been saved into my library over here. So that's the first thing to do if you want to start citing using Zotero. Now, of course, you can um, basically create whatever you want in here. You can create your own library. You can see your uh, different things in here. You can basically edit everything however you want. But the site, for example, site using Microsoft Word, I'm going to show you how to do that because it's very, very simple. So you want to open up your Microsoft Word. There we go. And then once you open it, I'm going to open up a blank document over here just for this instance. You'll be able to see that once you're in here, you have a new tab up here, which is called Zotero. Now, if you click on that Zotero, you can then add or edit citations and add or edit bibliographies. Now, to do this, you want to simply click on uh, add or edit citation. I'm just going to click by uh, click over here and type in written by just to have something in here and then add or edit citation. And then for the first time inside the document, you will have to select what you want to cite with. So the citation style for me, we're going to go with the APA seventh edition, which is I think the most common. And then after you do this, of course, you can select your language. And then if you want to automatically update citations or not, okay, of course, there's advanced options as well. If you want to store citations as bookmarks right now, I'm not going to do this. After you're here, you want to click on OK. And that's going to be that. Now, this is a Terra window will pop up and it will give you the ability to see all your items inside your library. What you're going to do is either search for them, for them like this, or you can just click them over here and then press the enter key. And then there we go. As you can see, the citation has been now inserted into my document over here. Now, that's the first thing. And then, of course, you can just cite however you want. And then at the end, you can add or edit bibliography. So 
click on here and then as you can see with just a click of a single button it's added in this bibliography with all the sources and citations inside of my document so that's pretty much it that's how to cite using zotero i hope this video helped you out if it did please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well